Well, Papa Pepper here with another one of the wild man's wild friends. This one is a scorpion. It happens to be the striped bark scorpion. They're the most commonly encountered scorpions in the United States. You'll find them across the southern United States into northern Mexico. I've found them down on the border in uh, Eagle Pass, Texas. I've found them in Austin, Texas, and then I found them in uh, northwestern Arkansas here. Kind of a uh, happy to encounter them. For some reason in my life I always wanted to catch some rattlesnakes and uh, scorpions and now I've had the opportunity to do both of those. You may be wondering why would you be happy that there's scorpions in your area? Well, they're neat, they're cool, I enjoy them. Uh, we don't really find them often, we have to go out looking for them. These ones actually, the children, knew where some scorpions were so I said well where are they? And uh, they went and showed me yesterday. Now uh, these guys are nocturnal, which means they're going to come out at night and um, look for food. They'll eat uh, insects and then other arachnids as well. And uh, these guys are arachnids. If you look closely, you might be able to see they have four legs on each side. So they're a little eight-legged creature. Plus they got their uh, claws and their stinger. So they're in the you know same big family as uh, spiders and stuff like that. Um, as I said, you'll find them kind of across the southern United States. They're the most commonly encountered ones in, uh, in the U.S. They'll be uh, kind of as far up as Colorado, Nebraska, stuff like that. Uh, there are actually kinds of scorpions in southern Illinois too. I uh, never found any up in Wisconsin because we don't have any, but now that I'm farther south I can encounter them more frequently. These guys, um, when they breed, the mom will actually carry the babies on her back until they hit their first molt. Uh, molting is when a, a creature with an exoskeleton, like a crustacean, like a crab or a lobster um, or an arachnid, when they shed their uh, outer skin because they're getting bigger, it's called molting. So these guys will they'll molt, and like I said, the mom will hang on to the babies, keep them on her back to protect them until they reach their first molt. Um, stings from these are rarely deadly, but they can lead to death. Um, they're mostly very painful. There's a neurotoxin in the venom, which uh, can cause muscle spasms and things like that, and then in worst cases, um, it can actually lead to anaphylactic shock. So, although it is a, an interesting creature, although I am holding it in my hand, um, there is dangers with the two. Not that anyone has to, or should, or that type of stuff, but when I pick them up, I'll grab them by their tail, and if I got their tail like that, their uh, stinger is actually curled up inside there. I'm pinching on each side of it so the stinger is protected inside the rest of its tail. It can't get me, but I can hang on to it. And then uh, there it is, right back on the old finger. So, just another one of my uh, wild friends, just for fun. Okay. All the way back there in the mouth. Ah. But anyway, Papa out. I'll talk to you guys later.